and welcome back to another episode of Aaron is the Funny One. I'm one of the hosts, Jack Douglas. Joining me by contractual obligation is this one that I'm pointing at right here. I'm still waiting on my payment, by the way. Do you know possibly the status of that payment? Perhaps. Thought you were an intern, honey. Thought we talked about this. Interns don't sign contracts. Damn right. Well, this is the 16th episode. I would prefer to call it our super sweet 16th episode. I, I like that too. Our sweet 16, our super, super sweet, sweet 16. 16. Now, Jack, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the premise of the super sweet 16th birthday yeah, party. I'm not. But as you may have guessed, it is usually quite super and- oh. um, quite spectacular. What do you get the podcast that has everything? So what on earth do you have planned for our super <laughs> sweet 16th episode party? What do you have planned for us? Well, I'm going to tell it that I love it and I'm really proud of it and that it's really blossomed into the fine young podcast that it's become. I will say that MTV never really had that in their super sweet 16 episodes. No, they sure didn't. They no. didn't. A lot of screaming and crying and daddy, the Hummer is the wrong color. Well, I was going to say, like, did you get me a Tesla? <laughs> I guess that would be the modern equivalent. I did. You wanted the white Tesla, right? Nobody wants the white Tesla. Oh, no. Nobody wants the white Tesla. I have some calls to make. Our next door neighbors have a bright blue Tesla, and that is also hideous. So <laughs> don't get the bright blue Tesla. And we have the no colored Tesla. <laughs> yeah. It's not economical for us in the, in the event that we need to flee Los Angeles when the San Andreas Fault opens up. Right. I mean, I saw that documentary starring uh, The Rock. That's right. And, you know, you can't rely on the battery mm -mm. power in the event of, you know. Because battery drains. The, the liquid hot magma coming through. So. Would you leave your unplugged iPhone alone for like days at a time? Just assume that it's good to go? Jack, what was the present that you asked for for our super sweet 16th party? A better co-host. <laughs> I can make that happen for you. Can you? Well, I can make that happen for me, rather. No, no, no. You were right the first time. No, no, no. Who you got? I was right both times, technically. Eh. It's our sweet 16th. You know how we should celebrate our sweet 16th, honey? How should we celebrate? By going into our wine of the week. Jack, why don't you tell the listeners about our wine of the week? I would love to, since you're the one that picked it. Do you know why I picked it? Because you've had this series before, no? No. Why did you pick this wine? Well, Jack, why don't you tell them what the wine is first? Listeners, feast your ears upon this. We are drinking a rosé titled 19 Crimes. Titled? Titled? No, it's a 19 Crimes Rosé. Cali Rosé. Cali Rosé. I'm going to use the word produced because... Yeah, that's fair. This Inappropriate. Man, this man is a musical muse, if you will. I will. And... Begrudgingly, I will. I picked this because it is produced by Mr. Snoop Doggy Dog, D-O-double-G. That's right. You know me. No less. And Jack, why did I pick this rosé featuring... Mr. Snoop Doggy Dog D-O-double-G. Probably because I worked with him in a video once before. You did? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, it was an April Fool's Day like YouTube video prank. Years ago, they did this thing called Snoopovision where... <laughs> You would watch viral videos in the theater with Snoop Dogg and a few other YouTubers, but you could like you had like 360 degree control of the camera. I sat next to him. You met Snoop Dogg? Yeah, I I D -O -G? cracked I cracked jokes with him the entire time. No, you while, didn't. I told you this story. I don't listen to you. Wow. Yeah, we were like in the same movie theater in the YouTube studio watching some like slow-mo video, I think. The slow-mo guys. I don't know. We were reacting to one of those videos. I make some real dumb jokes and shit. And, and Snoop, t at one point I got him laughing and he turned to me and he's like, I knew you were going to say that as soon as that happened or something like that. Like I, Do you I, think he was stoned? I think you have to be to appreciate my jokes. Okay, fair. I appreciate the fact that you at least admit that. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a cool experience. And I know he's an avid listener of this podcast. So thank you, Snoop, for the memory. And thank you for the Cali Rosé. I heard that he lives in, I don't, I don't mean to dox the guy, but I heard he lives in Diamond Bar, California. Don't dox Snoop. So there are many a sightings of Snoop and Diamond Bar. If you guys are in the Southern California, not yet Orange County, but almost out of LA County area, you may or may not get a Snoop sighting. 
But do you know why I picked the Snoop wine, Jack? And no, it's not because you met him once, maybe, if I even believe that story. Is it because if you scan it with your phone camera, he comes alive? Well... You have to download the app. Oh, right. 19 Crimes Wines have what they call living wine labels. And if you download their app and scan the wine label, the face will talk to you. But no, Jack, that's not why I picked it. Oh my God, tell us why. I'm on pins and needles. Jack, what season is it? <laughs> Dog season? Jesus, Lord, it's Libra <laughs> season. And Snoop Dogg, D-O-double-G, is a Libra. Oh, I did not know that. Also didn't care. But how about that? He's a Libra. He's a Libra. And we're, what better way to celebrate Libra season what better way? than with a Libra wine? Um, all right. I need. I haven't tasted this yet. Now, kids, this is a 10.5% oh, that's nothing. alcohol that's content for, wine. For wine, that's nothing. It's basically the Capri Sun of wines. Yeah. Don't tell your parents I told you that. So, no, tell them, Jack, why don't you take a nice big old sip oh, of that yeah? Cali Rosé featuring produced by Snoop Doggy Dog D-O-double-G. And you let us know what it tastes like. Huh. It's very juicy. It kind of... Would it, you say it's like Capri Sun? It's like a Capri Sun-esque fruit juice. It's an adult fruit juice. Is it like sweet? Yeah, it's... Okay. What do you mean, is it sweet? You can't tell. It's like the sweetest wine I've had in years. It's very sweet. Sorry, it's. I'm, I'm a little shocked. This barely tastes like wine. I'm pretty sure that... I don't that know if it's good or bad. If you drink more than one glass of this... You will wake up with ulcers in your mouth in the morning. That's all I'm going to say. It's very sweet. It's First very... you dock Snoop. Then you <laughs> insult his rosé. I'm not insulting. Once again. That's not a good point. Well, no. Once again, all wine is good wine. It just depends on what kind of wine you like. So anyway, it's great wine if you don't want to like taste the wine. So <laughs> that you know what that's true. This is a good beginner's wine. Very good beginner's Baby's wine. Baby's first glass of wine. Baby's if, first glass of wine. If you're like, wine. oh, I don't know if I like the taste of wine, maybe like ease up with this. This is a stepping stone wine. Training back, wheels. Yeah, like back in the sixties when mothers used to like rub wine on teething babies' gums so that they would get drunk and like not realize that their teeth were like poking. Was through it wine their... or was it whiskey? You ruined the joke. Oh fuck idiot god this is why we can't have nice things i'm sorry so okay but when they would they would they would rub this one anyway fuck it and it, like you ruined it <laughs> it's over anyway according to the vivino app uh there are 181 ratings i can't believe this is not more rated yeah given that C I given mean, the uh, the producer Snoop Dogg, on it deal double g i mean he and martha are homies like i don't understand That's anyway right. uh it got 3.5 out of 5 stars with okay. 181 ratings. Average price point of this wine, $11.97. So what would you what would you rate it as a 30 something? If I were at a frat party, I'd be impressed that they sprung for the bottled wine. If I were at my As opposed to the boxed wine. Right, yeah. Nice. I'd give it at least a 4 out of 10. Okay. It's not bad. It's just not for me. A four out of ten is not a good grade. It's not you. It's me. You right, know? right, right, right. What I've been trying to tell you it's for years. It's the not you. It's me of wine. Yes. No, that's actually exactly. That's oh, a, a that great way to put it. Snoop, I know you're listening. Please put that <laughs> on the bottle. Um, I would give it a five out of ten. Because while it is like baby's first wine, I could see myself enjoying this. Like, I mean, I'm already halfway done a glass. I enjoy it more than you, but it's still like very much so like it's a juice. Five out of ten. Nice. Good it, for you. If you're curious, give it a look-see. Okay. Now we know this is how we properly celebrate Libra season, I think. Next week, we'll be drinking Snoop Doggy Dog D-O-double-G's other wine. Oh, is that right? That uh, You didn't notice? I put both of them. There's, he has a red as well. I did not notice. Yeah, I bought both of them. Oh, I, I completely... Oh, no. I threw that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... I would like to say hmm. that last week we left off with turning off the do not disturb. Yes. On our hotline. We sure did. Now, Jack. Yes, Aaron. Shall we venture into turning off the do not disturb again and see where this adventure may take us? I say take two. Let's do it. You really want to? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. This could get weird. It could get weird. I love weird. But like, I, I feel we had to leave our last podcast with our tail between our legs. And I don't want that to ever happen again. And it might. It might happen again tonight. We'll never know if we don't try. That's true. So I say be brave. Okay. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Do okay, it. okay. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're sure? Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna. Somebody called in 16 minutes ago. Oh, 
all right. It might happen. And, and by the way, they somebody else called in three minutes before that. Oh my god. Is it ready? All right. I'm gonna press it. Do it. Right now. Okay. So And now we wait. And now we wait. We talked about this beforehand. If someone calls, Aaron will answer, but she's going to pretend that she is the voicemail message. Right. And she's gonna say something like, Hi, you've reached the Aaron is the funny one hotline. Please leave your name and let us know if you consent to blah blah blah. Beep. Okay. And we'll I'm gonna let them try talk. my best and not screw up. You'll be good. You'll okay. be fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. So in the meantime, why yes. don't we wait? Yes. Do you have anything prepared for me today? Well, well, hold on. Speaking of the hotline, there are two voicemails I would like to play. Two? One was a fan review that I just feel like deserves, you know, I just want to influence the people that are already listening to continue to listen. I like that. No, that's that's legit. That's real. And then the second one is actually the quiz idea Ooh. for what we're going to be doing today. Nice. All right. First up, we have a glowing review. Well, that's From an nice. avid listener. I'm consenting. You can put this on the air. That was a great show. I just listened and finished up the last show, guys. Very cool. Love you guys. Keep having fun. Talk to you. Big why, fan. Why, honey? <laughs> that sounded a lot like your father. <laughs> that's my dad. My dad called into the dad. My hey. dad called into Dad Hug Me 10. Oh, how appropriate is that? And wanted to leave us a voicemail. Hey, thank you very much for the lovely message. And thank you for listening. We love you. Thanks, Daddy, for calling. That's okay. really sweet. Now, since my dad didn't have any good quiz ideas, uh, <laughs> I exchanged some messages with a lovely listener named Gracie, who, by the way, we are going to be getting drinks at your New York City show. Stop it. Very excited. Oh, I'm excited. That's Very awesome. Very excited. Gracie's a local, so she's like... Oh, oh, Gracie knows know all the hot spots. Go. Hell yeah. I know where we can oh, go. Oh, I love that. But Gracie had a wonderful idea for what we're going to be doing today. Gracie, lay it on us. Hi, long-time listener, first-time caller. Jack, this is not for you. This is for Aaron only. Aaron, I've been re-watching some of Jack's film videos on YouTube, and I'm watching the KidBot quiz, and I would love it if you were to quiz Jack on KidBot lyrics. Twist it up a little bit. Also, I love you. And I'm going to do a show in New York, and I really want to get her drinks with you. But I know that's not going to happen. Okay, bye! But it's happening, and we are doing a Kids Bop quiz. Oh, no. Except this time, we quiz you. I honestly, I love this idea. I am so tired of making the Kids Bop quizzes. You've only done two! And they were exhausting. You've only done two Kids Bop quizzes! And they drained my life force. So how many questions did you even have to prepare? Hundreds. No, no, no. How many? Dozens. How many? Tens of questions. Honestly, how many? Tens. Like 40 or like 20? Because I've done 15. Somewhere between. I did 15 and I did it in a number of hours, Jack. So I don't need you to do anything. There it is. It's a, it's a, <laughs> this is a personal just like piece of advice. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. Because if I can do it in as, you know, the matter of time that I did, then I think maybe you should be able to churn that shit out a little bit faster. Well, here's the thing. I don't know how good your quiz is. What oh, if it ho, sucks? Ho, ho. I my quizzes were pretty good. I chose some of the most recent kids bop songs. Not only that. Oh. But I actually even listened to the kids bop songs. I don't even know if you actually listen to them. I do. Do you? I make sure that the lyrics are what they say. So good for you. Well, yeah. Here's your participation trophy. By the way, Kids Bob <laughs> is so funny. Like listening to these, I was like, I feel like such a creep listening to Kids Bob songs. Oh, yeah. No, songs. you can't not feel like a creep. <laughs> it's very true. I don't feel good about it. It's the worst kind of research. Like, God damn it. But you do it for the quiz. You do it for the quiz. Jack, could you please explain the what bop the quiz? Kids Bop Quiz is? Sure. In the past, I've made two Kids Bop quizzes. And what that entails is it's a multiple choice quiz where first I give you the actual lyrics to a modern pop song that has some cursing or sex related or adult themed lyrics, right? And the question is, how did Kids Bop fix these lyrics when they covered this song? And I make it multiple choice. So I have the actual answer and then three or four fake lyrics that I made up. And you, given those choices, have to pick how Kids Bop, quote unquote, fixed 
those lyrics. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot harder than it sounds. And I have a blast writing these because it is so much fun just thinking like, how else can they like purify these satanic lyrics? It's a wonderful process. Did you have fun writing your quiz, by the way? I, okay, I will say it this. It can be cathartic. No, I had no fun. No fun. Because I was very insecure that my alternative answers weren't believable. And I determined that I'm probably not very good at lyric writing. So. Well, don't worry. I'll be the judge of that. The only thing that was fun about it yeah. was literally dreaming of making you look like a fool. Oh, boy. Yeah. Terrifying motivation. No, very motivating literally motivation. Literally dreaming. Dreaming. Yikes. Salivating Yikes. at it. Oh, no. So exciting. Titillating. Ah! Oh, no. Very exciting. So, Jack, are you ready? We're going to start out with an easy one, okay? Oh, yeah, we're going to start with some We're going to start out with an easy one, okay? I'm as ready as I'll ever be, but I'm really, really intrigued. So, I have created 15 questions. However, I've designated five of them as alternates because there are five songs that I picked two lyrics from. Uh-huh. And so if you get one of the lyrics right and I'm displeased. <laughs> you go with the other question. I'm going to go with the other question. Got it. So you really only have 10 questions. Well, then. so there's 10 official questions. Right. Okay. Five alternates. All right. So that's not that or impressive. alternatives. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start off easy. And I mean easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to start off with Peaches by Justin Bieber. Okay. All right, Jack. The original lyric is, I get my weed from California. That's that shit. Mm. I took my chick up to the north. Yeah, badass bitch. What's wrong with that? E, unchanged. Did, <laughs> did kids bop in their kids bopification mm -hmm. turn it to A, I got my dream of California. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I took my friend up to the north. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. B, I shop local, buddy. No, no plastic. No. I adventured with a girl. Yeah. She hikes clips. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> C, I drove down the coast of Cali. So scenic. I took my friends with me and we snapped pics. Cringe. Or D, I plant trees in California. Yeah, that's lit. Oh my God. The fires burned them all down. Not so lit. It's D. Final <laughs> answer D. <laughs> okay. What a great intro question, I must say. Hats off to you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. You can't tell me this isn't the most fun shit to do. <laughs> right? This was so hard. No, this but this. Was so this is why I've made like five yais about this exact thing. Because once I made the first quiz, I was like, I had so much fucking fun writing the choices. I had to pass this off to viewers. So, okay. I think it's A. Got my dream of California. Yeah, that's it. I took my friend up to the north. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Based on your experience with Kids Bop. Yes. What leads you to believe that they would maybe create that answer? Yeah. Are there any trends or themes, basically, that you find with kids bopifying lyrics? The kids bopified lyrics. Yeah. Well, first off, my first reason is um, the other three answers are just so ridiculous. But even ignoring those, the first one really generalizes everything else. Instead of weed, it's dream. All kids have a dream. Okay. And then... I took my friend up to the north way better than I took my chick up to the north. I feel like that's a trick Kids Bop frequently employs instead of girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, side piece. It's friends. Okay. So I think as much as I want to say I shop local buddy, no plastic. Because <laughs> that's really fucking good. You don't like the driving down the coast of Cali so scenic? I like No, I like it a lot. Trust me, that's a great lyric, but I think... Or what about, I mean, the trees in California are at risk. That's true. The fires burned them all down. Not so lit. Not so lit. But it is literally lit. A final answer. A is the correct answer, and we are moving into the alternative round already. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Your kisses taste the sweetest with mine. Mm-hmm. Did Kids Bop change that lyric to your smiling makes everything shine? Your heart and soul are truly divine. 
Your singing sounds sweeter with mine. Ooh. I'll give you Hershey kisses until the end of time. Now, I have to ask you a question. Yes. When you wrote these lyrics, did you listen to the original slash? Yes. Gives pop covers yes. to make sure that, like the timing matches. Yes. Because that's key. I don't know how peaches go, so I'm fucked. But you don't know peaches? Mm -mm. You? Oh, come on! Everybody knows peaches. You don't know peaches? Girl, Do you actually not know peaches? I actually don't know. Bro, get your head out of your really DMB ass. This stupid galaxy that somebody spread their legs and showed you their universe. You need to get your head out of that universe and fucking get your head out of your own ass. And Was that like a Dave Matthews lyric you just yes, said? Yes, of course. It's beautiful. I need you to like actually get with the times. Everybody knows peaches from Justin Bieber. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure my dad knows peaches from Justin don't. Bieber. Don't. Okay. Yeah, he does. Look, I have a quiz to take if you don't mind. Your smiling makes everything shine. That's pretty believable. Your heart and soul are truly... No, they would not use divine. Absolutely not. Crossing B off. Your singing sounds sweeter with mine. I oohed at that one because that's something they would do. They love kind of shoehorning the... We're kids. We're singing together. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. <laughs> I love Hershey Kisses till the end of time. It ain't it. So it's either A or C. It's either smiling makes everything shine or your singing sounds sweeter with mine. Your kisses taste sweetest with mine. I'm going to go with C. Your singing sounds sweeter with mine because I feel like it changes the fewest words while still keeping it innocent enough that, you know, a minivan mom can, um, you know, proudly. Her name is Kids Bob Karen. I'm okay. sorry. Kids. Oh, God. Remember Kids Bob Karen? How could you forget Holy Kids Bob shit. Karen? That feels like a lifetime ago. Kids Bob Karen can happily, with a smile on her Karen little face, blast us in her minivan so that uh, Jordan from football practice, uh, soccer practice can enjoy the latest Bieber songs guilt-free. I'm going to go with C. Wait. Your singing sounds sweeter with mine. All right. Please refer to question two. Wait. Now, hold on. Did I get that right or wrong? I don't want to talk about it, okay? okay? Hell yeah. Question two. Still the champ. Let's go. Let's go. Now, this is your favorite <laughs> song, Jack Film. Good for you. It is by Olivia Rodrigo, it and is. most recently Haley Williams. Um, Get it? The original lyric. Oh, I do like that you said that in the in the quiz. <laughs> you actually have that labeled. That's genius. <laughs> That's genius. As we all know, this very iconic line. The lyric is as follows: Good for you. You're doing great out there without me, baby. Like a damn sociopath. TikTok loves that line. Jack, did kids bop, kids bopify? You're doing great out there without me, baby. Someday I'll be glad about that. Baby, yeah, I wish I could do that. Baby, now listen to my justice wrath. <laughs> baby, I guess that you took a pass. Hmm. Okay, so the way I know the song, this is one of the rare instances where I do know the song well enough to know the rhythm <laughs> to not just know the rhythm but to know that yeah i wish that i could do that is i think an actual lyric in the original song obviously not at that point because she does says like a damn sociopath and i think it's like the first and only time she says that because it's like you know heavy emphasis and then the drums come back in i think yeah i wish that i could do that i'm leaning towards b uh -huh. because to censor a line sometimes kids bop will just repeat what's already been in a song they'll repeat another lyric it's lazy but they do it all the time. Uh-huh. So I think I'm going... It'd be interesting if they rewrote it, though. If they did say, someday I'll be glad about that. I don't think it's, now listen to my justice wrath. <laughs> I guess that you took a pass. No. Yeah, I wish I could do that. I feel like that's angsty enough that it's family friendly. Oh, but you know what? They could also say, baby, someday I'll be glad about that. That's also like that good old futuristic, you know, optimism that kids should have. Someday you'll be glad about that. You know, he or she wasn't the one. And you know what? It, it was meant to be. But my gut is saying B, final answer. Okay, please refer to question 11. Three for three. You're so bitter. You won't even say when I <laughs> write. <laughs> question 11. Uh -huh. Original lyric <laughs> being, I guess that therapist I found for you, <laughs> she really helped. <laughs> How is Kids Bop going to get around this? Did Kids Bop... Say, I guess your counselor oh that you God. met with oh. really seemed to help. I want to believe so bad. I guess that counselor that I found for you, it seemed to help. Oh, no. I guess that therapist you found for you, <laughs> she really helped. I guess that therapist they sent you to did really help. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay. They're all so good. <laughs> 
I think it's either C or D. Okay. Purely off the rhythm structure. Let's yeah, let's stick with one of those two. Okay. I guess that therapist you found for you, she really helped. I guess that therapist they sent you to did really help. That one's more gender neutral. <laughs> <laughs> such a weird change you found for you <laughs> but i guess a kid wouldn't ah oh, doesn't make sense either way what kid is gonna find a therapist themselves uh, i think d makes the most sense but i don't know if that's what they did i really like counselor i know that one of these counselors you wrote and i really appreciate that that's really funny as opposed to therapist okay sorry enough stalling the answer of course it's so obvious it's uh <laughs> I'm going to say C. I'm going off the whole, like, what they changed the least. I think rhythmically okay. it goes, it, it sounds the best. I guess that therapist you found for you, she really helped. It's the closest to the original. Still doesn't make sense, but fuck reason. I've learned the hard way that Kids Bop abandoned reason and logic when it came to correcting lyrics. C. Final answer. Your final answer is, I guess, that therapist you found for you, she really helped. Is that correct? That's correct. Please refer to question <gasps> three. Wow. This is like Squid Game. <laughs> okay. It's just like Squid Game. <laughs> All right, Jack. <laughs> the next song is Mood by 24K Golden. And yeah, I had a fucking... YouTube an interview with 24K Golden to figure out how to say the name 24K Golden. Oh, you did your proper research. Apparently 24K Golden was on one of the Paul Brothers podcasts. I think the older, oh, well, I think it was Logan. Sure. Okay. Great. Are you familiar with the song? No. <laughs> you would know it. You'd know it if you heard it. Okay. It's a TikTok song. Oh, uh, okay. It's like, uh, Final takeaway after literally like just the beginning of this stupid quiz is <laughs> that you need to like get out more and listen. What am I? Am I four for four or five for five? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> All right. The original lyric yeah. is now we're arguing in my bedroom. The best place to argue. Am I right, fellas? Did Kids Bop change the lyrics to now we're talking in a random room? Uh-huh. Now I'm blocking you very <laughs> soon. Now we're arguing in the next room. Now I'm singing in and out of tune. These are all great, by the way. You need to pat yourself on the shoulder for <laughs> all of these options. I can imagine you cackling when you wrote, now I'm singing in and out of tune. I didn't write singing in and out of tune. I'll tell you which answer I was most proud of. Okay. After, after we're after done. After I get it, yeah. Now we're arguing in my bedroom versus now we're talking in a random room. Now I'm blocking you very soon. Now we're arguing the next room. I'm going to say C. Again, going with my whole like change the least and it rhythmically it matches it similarly. Kids can't talk about the freaking bedroom. But it makes sense. Now we're arguing in the next room. It implies uh, that, you know, they were in a place, a previous place before. Now they're in the next room. I think that's a very elegant change from bedroom. C, now we're arguing in the next room. Final answer. Please proceed <laughs> to question 13. Which one were you most proud of, by the way? Singing in the, and out of tune? No, the blocking. No, I'm blocking. You. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Because what else can kids do? Exactly. But block. Exactly. Okay. Fuck this, I'm blocking you. So I will be fully honest. My question 13, I didn't label these because I just moved them. But I think that this is from this song. If it's not from this song, it's from a song that we have coming up. Okay. But I'm going to give it to you anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Jack. The original lyric is, baby, I am not your dad. It's not all you want from me. Did Kids Bop say, baby, stop <laughs> acting so bad. I am who you want me to be. Oh, wow. Baby, I am not that bad. Is that all you want from me? Ooh. Baby, don't be so sad. It's <laughs> not as bad as it could be. Don't be so sad. Baby, why are you so mad? <laughs> I'm trying hard. Can't you see? Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> I'm not your dad. <laughs> the first one's funny because it's like the opposite of what the original lyric is. Because <laughs> the original lyric is, it's not all you want from me. And then the first answer is, I am who you want me to be. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time you and I get in a fight, I'm going to like throw that line out <laughs> so hard. Hey, I am who you want me to be. And then I win the argument and then I go home a champion. Uh, you know, I was going to say C. I think it's B. I feel like it's 
innocent enough. No weird dad shit, you know? I mean, none of them have, uh, you know, dad ties, obviously. But I think going from I am not your dad to I am not that bad, that's a solid move on Kids Bop. Um, Wait, why have you not talked about D? Baby, why are you so mad? Because it's so different. It's very different from the original lyric, which is why I'm going to go with B. Baby, I am not that bad. Is that all you want from me? B, final answer. Please proceed to question four. Is this co am I getting all of these wrong? Okay. Shut up, Jack. Okay, that's a no. Question four. Oh, this is a good song. Revolves around Say So by Doja Cat. Great song. Hypnotic melody, harmony. The original lyric is, I wouldn't bug him, but he won't stop cheesing. Mm. Did Kids Bop change the lyric <laughs> to, I wouldn't bother them, but they look freezing. I wouldn't tell him, but he won't stop chasing. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to them, but they keep teasing. Mm. I wouldn't bug him, but he's my only reason. The answer has to rhyme with cheesing, which is why I'm going to eliminate chasing. I have to eliminate B. Because all the others, freeze and teasing and reason, the holy trinity. <laughs> they rhyme with cheese in the original lyrics, so <laughs> it can't be he won't stop chasing. All right. I wouldn't bug him, but he won't stop cheesing. I wouldn't bug him, but he's my only reason. Too many syllables. <laughs> I really like I wouldn't bother him, but they look freezing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give him a little coat. Oh, them. I just noticed two of them change him to them. I wouldn't talk to them, but they keep teasing. Oh, shit. This is hard. This is the hardest one yet. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is. I wouldn't bug him. I wouldn't bug him, but he won't stop cheesing. Hmm. I wouldn't bug him, but he's my only reason. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of clunky. I wouldn't bug him, but he's my only reason. That's kind of clunky. Even though it's the only one with bug him. I wouldn't bug him, but he won't stop cheesing. I wouldn't bug him, but he's my only reason. No way. No way. No way. That's so clunky. That can't be it. That can't be it. My gut kind of tells me it's it because of the bug him, but ah. Uh, and that seems to be your MO. Which MO? That you change the lyric the least. That's my- I do that? That's kind of the pattern I'm seeing in this quiz, but this is the one that's throwing me off now. Now I really, I'm testing my theory. I'm going with C. I wouldn't talk to them, but they keep teasing purely because of the rhythmic structure. Like from a syllable standpoint, I think it's the one that matches the, the original closest while keeping a somewhat believable set of lyrics. I wouldn't talk to them, but they keep teasing. It's very different from the original lyric, but the one that's closest to the original doesn't make sense rhythmic wise, which is I wouldn't bug him, but he's my only reason. You can't rap it that fast. It, it's clunky. C, final answer. Player one eliminated. <laughs> No, I got Squid Game. You got Squid Game, bro. Oh, no. Woo! The final actual answer. Is it fucking D? No, it was I wouldn't. <gasps> baby, baby. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Someone's calling. Jonald, don't you dare. <laughs> don't I dare what? Don't you dare. Is that my boy, Jonald? It's your boy, Jonald. Jack, how is it going? I... I still would like it. Jack, did you see my video where I made you apologize to me synthetically because you made me feel really bad? Um, Aaron did word? show me that video, Jonald, and yeah, uh, it I... was very impressively edited. Well done. But I will never apologize you uh, to your face or over the phone. Um, okay, that was that was pretty much it. I mean, I, just, I was really hoping because you just hurt my feelings so bad. Darn it, I had something else to you talk about. You had fun making that. Oh, hi, that's my wife. That's Brooklyn. Oh, hello, I... wife. <laughs> Wait, don't you have a wife, Jack? <laughs> Only legally. <laughs> okay, that's a, fair. Fair. This is this is a good. Yeah. Anyway, that was pretty much it. I just, I really, Jack. Now, now that you've at least said it to my face, I mean, over the phone to my ears. Right. Now I can go cry myself to sleep at night. <laughs> But I have been rejected and scorned because you knew what you did. You knew exactly what you were doing, and you did yeah. it willingly. Yeah. It hurt. I do it again. What yeah. I do? So, Donald, after we hang up here, I'm going to have to explain how we have a relationship. But would you please do us the honor of plugging your YouTube channel so that yeah. listeners can subscribe if they would so please. Yeah, so um, my YouTube channel is Ya Boy Jonald. I, you just go on YouTube, it's Ya Boy, B-O-I, and then Jonald, it's like Donald but with a J. 
And thank you so much for calling. Yes, and thank being you, John. First right. live caller. Yes. Your boy John Old, everybody. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna hang up so you guys can get back to your podcast. All thank right. You. Thanks Bye, for calling, John Old. John Old. Bye, John Old's wife. Oh my god, it actually worked. We did it. It actually I hope it worked. Hopefully it came through. Who knows? But a few months ago, this dude, ya boy Donald, tweeted at me and was like, are you even a human or are you right. just like a bot that just likes yeah. every tweet at you? And I replied and I was like, uh, if you can believe it, I'm a human with fingers and thumbs and I actually like them with my own hands. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, my bad. I actually was just curious. Like, <laughs> But anyway, so Donald has been a regular caller in to our hotline. Also, our very first live caller. And How I, about that? I have him saved in our um, voicemail system as bot boy just so that I can identify when he's calling in because that way I can put context without having to memorize literally thousands of phone numbers right. and so bot boy just called in your boy John Old. I'm so happy that we finally captured it <laughs> on mic <laughs> we did it after the failure that was last week's podcast we finally did it so there you go and that's the thing listeners whenever you call in at dad hug me 10 dad hug me 10 there is a slight chance you may be calling while we're recording the podcast so while we had planned to be like oh this is the vo oh shit i messed up i should have still pretended it was the voice you didn't now. even try you i were did like, it because I, boy, no. I immediately recognized oh bot boy is calling i, I, I was like wow you abandoned that plan very <laughs> fast I got distracted, shiny thing. I don't know. I don't know. Aww. Hopefully I remember for next time. It's all right. All right. We're turning on the do not disturb again. Yes. Hey, mission accomplished. Next week, hopefully we'll get somebody else. Yeah. Hold okay. On. I, I need, well, hold on. I need to pour myself some more of that uh, uh, Snoop wine. <laughs> you can have mine. I'll have yours. Yeah. I'll have your four out of 10 wine. All right. I said at least a four out of 10. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's high praise. Okay. So. Yeah. Where do we leave We just off? eliminated you, right? You were just eliminated in the squid game. You didn't even tell me the right answer for Doja Cat. I didn't? No. Was it D? Oh, that's right. And then we got distracted. Okay. The correct answer is B. I wouldn't tell him, but he won't what? stop chasing. But Jason doesn't rhyme. I don't know. I didn't. I Fuck I wasn't kids hired bop. by Kids Bop, but that's what happened. Okay. Kids Bop is why I drink. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Adore you by Harry Styles. Okay. I know one of those things. The original lyric was strawberry lipstick state of mind. Was it? Strawberry blonde on this head of mine. <laughs> Strawberries and cream. Oh me. Oh my. Strawberry milkshake state of mind. Ooh. Or no change. Oh, this is the hardest one. With the last two made it. I'm I'm eliminating A and B. <laughs> Just right off the fucking bat. Okay. Strawberry milkshake. Kids can have lipstick, no? Strawberry lipstick stay in Jack, mind. Can they? Strawberry milkshake stay. No way. That's you know what? No, that's a jokey thing. You did that. You were laughing to yourself like an idiot when you wrote strawberry milkshake state of mind. You're like, hey, kids and candy. <laughs> you know why? Because I do the same fucking thing. You do? I replace alcohol with soda pop, you know, like in all the lyrics. Yeah. And it's super satisfying. I replace Hennessy with Capri Sun. <laughs> yeah. Before I read the answers. I thought, what's wrong with strawberry lipstick state of mind? And seeing that no change is indeed an answer, I'm gonna, this might be foolish and naive, I'm tempted to pick D, no change, and I think I'm going to commit to D, no change. The correct lyric, the way that Kids Bop, Kids Bopified this lyric, is that they didn't, and they just left it in strawberry lipstick state of mind. And if they changed it, shame on the Kids Bop writers for demonizing lipstick. Lipstick's fine. But it's also a state of mind. It's also a state of mind. You're committing. Yeah. Your children are heathens. God damn it. What? Is it milkshake? Because you are eliminated once again. Stop it. Is it strawberry milkshake God state of mind? God damn it. Is the correct answer. Ah! No kid likes a strawberry milkshake. It's chocolate or Excuse get out. Excuse you. Strawberry milkshakes are delicious. Hey, to all kids out there listening, and if you like strawberry milkshakes, uh, get a fucking life. Touch grass. You're wrong. Okay. Next question. I love that you have now died in the squid game twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Are you familiar with the song? More or less. The original lyric is, no, I can't sleep until I feel your touch. <laughs> no change. Final answer. 
Did Kids Bop change the lyric to A, no, you can't sleep because I talk a bunch. <laughs> That's why I can't sleep because you talk a bunch every fucking night. B, no, I want to meet so we can stay in touch. <laughs> C, no, I can't sleep because I miss you so much. Aww. D, no, I can't sleep because you know I think too much. Ooh. No, you can't sleep because I talk a bunch. No. No, I want to meet. Okay. B is the only one that doesn't mention sleep. All the other ones are like, you can't sleep. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. And B is, no, I want to meet so we can stay in touch. I think it's, I can't sleep because I miss you so much. No, I can't sleep until I feel your touch. No, I can't sleep because I miss you so much. Yeah, that makes sense. C, final answer. No, I can't sleep because I miss you so much. Player one. Stop it. Eliminate it. Thrice in a row? Thrice. I love this. I had a fucking hot streak of like, what, five? Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. Six? Seven. Nobody was counting. But the final correct answer was, no, I can't sleep because you know I think too much. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Kids don't think. They can't think. Their little brains haven't been formed yet. Next question. <laughs> You're so proud. You're so proud. Memories by Maroon 5. Hell yeah. Are you familiar with the song? I love Maroon's 5. The original lyric is go and raise your glass and say A. Okay. Did Kids Bop change the lyric to A, high five your class oh and God. say A. Brilliant. B, go and raise your voice and say Ooh. A, C, go now, act fast, and say A, or D, go and raise your hands oh. and say A. Oh, that's tough. All right. They're either raising their voices or they're raising their hands. It's either B or D. These are the closest to the original. They're both appropriate for Kids Bop, and they both fit the uh, syllables, the number of syllables. Go and raise your voice and say A. Go and raise your hands and say A. Neither voice nor hands rhymes with glass, <laughs> so that doesn't help. <laughs> Thank you, Kids Bop writers, for not trying. <laughs> but you know what does rhyme? <laughs> yeah, I saw class. High five your class and say, hey, that's pretty good too. But not all kids go to school. Also, all right. go now, act, act fast. fast. Oh my God, I missed that. That's true. No. So clunky and glunky. That's full of gunk. These are gunky answers. Go and raise your voice. We're never going to get sponsored by Kids Bop now, okay? <laughs> oh, poo. I'm going to say raise your hand, say A. Raise your hand, say A. Raise Is that your, your final answer? Yeah, D. Raise your hand, say A. Player no! one eliminated. I love this. This is amazing. Was it B? Raise your voice. Raise your voice and say A was the correct answer. This this quiz is making me raise my would voice. Would you like wait? Would you like to do an alternative question in regards to that song? I do have a, a secondary one. Yes, I'd like. You an would. Okay. I would like an alternative. The original lyric is because <laughs> the drinks bring back. All the memories. No change. Did Kids Bob change the lyric to A, catch a glimpse and it brings back all the memories? What? B, it was a jinx that brought back all the memories. C, because the smells bring back all the memories. Or D, because oh, the dreams bring back all the memories. I told you. I told you they love dreams. They love singing about dreams, vague. general vague things like dreams. But right? you know what I learned? <laughs> What's that, Aaron? <laughs> Is that they love dreams. <laughs> and I wrote this quiz. So uh, thanks for the hint. First off, A doesn't match at all. Catch a glimpse and it brings back all the memories. Cause the drinks bring back all the mem no. It was a jinx that brought back no way. No, kids don't know fucking jinx. Absolutely not. How do kids not know jinxes? That's Because they're stupid. No, kids know jinxes. Cause the smells, cause the dreams. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I'm just imagining a room full of kids going, because the smells bring back all the memories. Because the dreams. Because the drinks, dreams. Yeah, dreams is very close to drinks. Least offensive, uh, most vague. D, because the dreams bring back all the memories. Final answer, D. All right. Final? Final. Final, final? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll call that song a wash. Thank Please God. proceed. I thought I lost my touch for a second. To question eight. Okay. Hey, Old uh, Town Road by Lil Nas X and Mr. Billy Ray Cyrus. The original lyric is cowboy hat from Gucci, <laughs> Wrangler on my booty. <laughs> Did Kids Bop change the lyric to cowboy hats 
and sushi, Wrangler is on duty. <laughs> what? Cowboy hat from Gucci, Wrangler like on TV. Because that rhymes with booty. Cowboy hats oh my a beauty. God. Wrangler <laughs> makes a cutie. Fuck you. <laughs> or cowboy hat from Gucci looking really groovy. Oh, these are, this is really tough. <laughs> What are you doing? Don't don't look ahead. What were you just doing? Nothing. No. What were you just doing? Okay. What were you just doing? So I have a confession. What? I don't know the answer to this, by the way. I was thinking in an older uh, video of mine, an old jackass, I was struggling very, very hard because they changed riding on a tractor, riding on my bladder or something like that. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a lyric. By the way, Kids Bop did not change the riding on my bladder part. That was what I pointed out in the jackass. They did not. Change so I was that. wondering if that was the alternate alternative lyric question in case I got this right. And it okay. is not. All right. That's all I remember. Dick. Okay. Wow, what a cheater. How many of these songs? You told me that you yeah. didn't do any of these songs. Well, you never. You, first off, you never asked me about Old Town Road. But you told me that you hadn't done any recently. Old Town Road's not recent. That shit old. That shit's not old. That shit's like three years old. No, it's not. It's like 2019. It is 2019. You're right. That's old. That's not old. That's like 70 in music years. In kids bop quiz years, it's not old. Because okay. you last did it like ages ago. We're getting distracted. I really like cowboy hats and sushi. <laughs> Uh, cowboy hat's a beauty. Wrangler makes a cutie. Cowboy hat from Gucci looking really groovy. That's really innocent. The answer is D. Is that your final answer? It is. Are you sure? I'm feeling groovy. <laughs> the answer is D. <laughs> Are you hungry for sushi? <laughs> I'm not hungry for sushi. I just feel very groovy. Layer one eliminated no! once again. S shut up. Uh, Which one? Final answer. Cowboy hat from Gucci. Wrangler like on TV. That doesn't <laughs> rhyme. <laughs> Would you like the alternative question? Yes. Please infuriating. refer to question 15. Uh-huh. The original lyric <laughs> is... My life is a movie, <laughs> bull riding, and boobies. No change. Did Kids Bob change the lyric to, my life is a movie, bull riding, and bougie, mm -hmm. cool rides, and beauties, No. surrounded <laughs> by groupies, my bull has its own booties. Not, the only one that makes sense is bull riding and bougie. I think that is one would, of... Yes. Can I ask though, would Kids Bop use the word bougie? They wouldn't. Well, it's better than fucking boobies. <laughs> sure. Okay. But I feel like bougie is... I don't know. I don't Do know. Dr. Ernie, what does bougie mean to you? I think bougie is people who want to appear fancy. That's, okay. that's how I view bougie. Giving up the illusion of fanciness. It, it's... Yeah, it's an uh, appearance of sorts, but not necessarily actually like wealth. Sure. Okay. A shallow facade. Yes. That's how I view it. A, my life is a movie, bull riding and bougie, final answer. We'll call that one a wash yeah. then. Yeah. Boom. Still got it, Reddit. All right. Question nine. High Hopes by Panic at the Disco. Okay. Okay. The original lyric is shooting for the stars when I couldn't make a killing. Right. Did Kids Bop change the lyric to A, shooting for the stars when it wasn't too fulfilling? <laughs> B, jumping for the stars because I knew that it was Stop thrilling. It. Stop it. C, bouncing off the walls from the very beginning. <laughs> no. Or D, shooting for the stars when you knew that I was willing. Ooh. D sounds pretty willing. <laughs> Here's the deal. Like, let's talk it through. Let's talk it out. Shooting for the stars when it wasn't too fulfilling. No. What? No. That's... <laughs> think about the meaning of that. That doesn't make sense. Shooting for the stars when it wasn't too fulfilling? Well... No. 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 Okay. No. Jumping for the stars because I knew that it was thrilling. Sure. Clunky, but sure. Bouncing off the walls from the very beginning. That's the Joker's wild. That's the wild card. That's the... That's the... <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not. Doesn't come close to rhyming with killing. I'm going to commit to my gut, my big, fat, trusty gut that hasn't failed me yet. Shooting for the stars when you knew that I was willing. It's weird. It's borderline creepy. Willing? And you, what? You but, think that they would include the word shooting, which is <laughs> really 
uh, edgy of you. It is. It is. But I, I, you know, Kids Bob has been edgy before. They did leave in once. Um, she'll make you take your clothes off and go dancing in the rain. No. Oh, I forgot about that. Yep. But they had an adult sing it. That's the thing. Kids Bob in the old days. Uh, what? In the olden days of Kids Bob. Like, we're talking single digit albums and maybe it's just the first album i don't know but like the adult would sing the verses and the kids would back him up during the chorus so like the kids bop version of living la vida loca includes an adult saying she'll make you take your clothes off and go dancing in the rain Ugh. you know so kids sing along yeah the answer for this one is d shooting for the stars when you knew that i was willing that's uh that's a d final answer reach lock it in you were already eliminated, but also please proceed to question 10. Wait, did I get that wrong? No, you got it right. Oh, thank God. Jesus. So confusing. You can't do the yeah, Squid I can. Game yes, robot I can. voice. Yes, I can. Yes, Absolutely I can. Not. Yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. It's my podcast. My name's on the title. <laughs> it is, unfortunately. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get that changed. All right, guys. This is the last question. Oh, no. Of already? The, of the quiz. Oh, already. <laughs> my goodness. All right. I'm just getting started. So... The Middle by Zed, Marin Morris, and Gray. Okay. I don't know this one. The original lyric is, and it's not about my pride. I need you on my skin. That's fine. <laughs> Did Kids Bop change the lyric to A, and it's not about my pride with you through thick and thin? That's good. B, and I want you on my side. Where have you been? <laughs> C, and it's not that I can't decide. What? I love to see you grin. It's so different. D, and it's not that I won't try, what? much to my own chagrin. What kid is going to say chagrin? <laughs> what kid is going to say chagrin? <laughs> I'm an adult, and I'm pretty sure I would need to look up how to spell chagrin if I ever had to write it down. Do you know what chagrin is? Yes, of course. What of is course. it? Like, what is it? What is the definition of chagrin? Um, so uh, uh, tricky to define it, but like, uh, is it tricky own... to define chagrin? I, I have a feeling that the dictionary wouldn't find it very tricky to define. Much to my own chagrin, I'll answer the question. It's like that. It's like I'm not. I don't want to. I know what it means. I just can't like put it in words. Much to my own chagrin, like much to my own unamusement. Right. Yeah. Humiliation, embarrassment. Hum yes. Okay, thank it, you. It goes against what makes you look good. And that's what we call mansplaining. Yes. Okay, the answer... No, we call it Aaron-splaining. Aaron... Dr. Ernie-splaining. It's not about my pride. With you through thick and thin. I like that one. I need you on my skin. I need you on my skin. With you through thick and thin. Oh, it matches. Okay. It can't be B. B is, and I want you on my side. Where have you been? That's four syllables as opposed to... The six in the original. Where have you been? I need you on my skin. And it's not that I can't decide. I feel like decide. you're overly hung up on syllables. I love to see you grin. Don't dissuade me. But I think we've learned. You're like, it can't Much be chasing. That doesn't chagrin. rhyme with cheesing. It's like, well. Sometimes I'm right, though. Okay. I know. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. The chasing, that really, that ground my gears. Wrangler like on TV. <laughs> okay. No, that was a good rhyme, though. Booty TV. Same thing. I think it's A, and it's not about my pride with you through thick and thin. A final answer. The fact that you got any of them wrong means that you are <laughs> dead now, and that is the end of the quiz. Hey. I have to say, you did great with that, honey. Thank you. You should help me write. It was my write. first foray into lyric writing um, stuff. For not just the first time, for any time. That was very devious. You threw me off many a time. Thank you so much I'm for impressed. Gracie and anybody else that called in with the kids' Bob quiz idea. Shout out to Gracie. Shout out to Gracie. I can't wait to meet you in New York. Um, Gracie, do a shot with us. Would you join us? Fuck yeah. I'll escape my <gasps> green room. I'm so excited. Gracie, let's go. Let's go. All right. And with that, because Jack Film is dead, we now are joined by the ghost of Jack Film. Hello. What's it like on the other side? Kind of the same, but just everything is like blurry and translucent. Oh, it's like when you die in um that game that I play. What's that game? The one with the ghosts in the house. Fan oh, Phantasma. Oh, it's like when you die in Phantasma. That's the one. Yeah, it's like that. We were kind of pissed when that game came out because they, we feel like, well, people should wait to die before they realize that. We were kind of pissed. We weren't. We the ghosts. Oh. We didn't care for that. But you know what? You're more connected to the gods now, and what? Better timing then for horoscopes. Let's -a go. All right, Jack. 
We've already identified that it is Libra season. We have celebrated appropriately with the Snoop Dogg D-O-double-G wine, okay? Yes, we did. And Jack, will you please do me the honor of reading us Libra's horoscope this week? This week. Libra, let me tell you a little story. A fable, if you will. I'm pretty sure Aesop wrote this fable because it's a really good one but neither here nor there. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a little demonic baby born, and that little demonic baby just so happened to be a Libra. Hmm. Despite Libra's inherent evilness, its parents still tried and tried and tried to raise the baby as a normal child, but the Libra's black, soulless heart prevailed. Hmm. Impressively, at a very young age, Libra eventually plucked out its parents' eyeballs, <laughs> gnawed off all of their limbs, huh. and used the vacuum cleaner to suck out their tongues. I didn't even know they had teeth at that age. Bored and with no other body parts or parents left to destroy, the Libra left the home at an early age to wreak havoc on the world. That makes sense. Soon enough, as fate would have it, obviously, Libra came upon a pack of wolves. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> and asked if the wolves would take them on as their own. As you may have guessed, they did. As Libra grew and aged, it learned from the wolves their movements, their behaviors, their hunting techniques. Specifically, and most importantly, they learned how to camouflage themselves so as to deceive their prey into thinking they are not the enemy. And that, my friends, is how Libra came to be a wolf in human's clothing and explains, kind of, why they are evil as fuck. I would say that we can't blame them because it's literally just who they are, but just because it is what it is doesn't mean they shouldn't be thrown into a volcano, you know? Mm-hmm. Anyway, Libra, your horoscope for this week is to suck it. Fuck you, Libra. <laughs> Wow, honey, sorry, I just, I'm coming back down from the plane of, you know, mortality. I've never uh, read a horoscope mm -hmm. that was an origin story before. I mean, it was a fable. It was, it was an Aesop fable of sorts. It was it sounds it, of like. sorts. It explains a lot, though. It does. It all makes sense. I love origin story movies. I love origin story horoscopes. It's weird because it, there's a conundrum of sorts mm -hmm. in the sense that it's an origin story, but the origin is just that Libra is just bad. They're born bad. They're born bad. They can't help it, but also fuck them. That's so, the origin. Meh. No, no rhyme. Or, that's the thing. That's the other thing too. No rhyme or reason. These origin stories usually have like a motive into why the bad person is bad. I didn't get that. Nope. I didn't get that today. Just bad Just people. Just born bad. Sucking out parents' eyeballs and tongues and devil souls. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Succubuses. Yeah. You know? Like, why do they exist? Nobody knows, but they do. They do. Scorpio. Shit. I don't have anything. Uh. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Um. Come on, Aaron. You stupid bitch! Think! Uh, you will find true love in a Denny's bathroom! Aaron, you sly dog, you still got it. Oh, that's it? It just. Sorry, that sounded like you pulled that out of your ass? I didn't. No. I oh. vesseled appropriately. I vesseled. I don't know. It seemed half assed. But no, you, I wasn't half assed. If you say so. Just make sure you get your ass to a fucking Denny's this week. That's all. I found love in worse places. True. True. Sagittarius. Tweedle tweet. A tweedle tweet. Ooh, is that a little birdie I hear? Whispering secrets in my ear? <laughs> the birdie says to remain very wary, as encountering Libras in their season is scary. They mustn't be trusted, so stay far, far away. They'll paint you a blue sky and then turn it to rain. They'll ask you to play a chess game. <laughs> But then they'll change the rules every day. Avoid at all costs, especially those named Ben. They're even so vain that they think the Sagittarius horoscope is about them. My rhyme game is strong. Watch out, Eminem. <laughs> okay, I'm out. Don't forget to avoid Ben. You sound like King George from Hamilton. Also... <laughs> Shit, Ben. Ben the Libra? We need to avoid Ben the Libra? I mean, is that right? To the God's credit, never met a Ben I like. I've met, mm, 
Well, I've never met not a one. I've never met a Ben that is a Libra that I still like. That's for sure. There you go. Definitely evil devil children and that turned into devil adults that were raised by wolves that are wolves in human clothing and do not go near the Ben that is a Libra. Just don't do it. No Bens. Is it just me or did that horoscope seem like very targeted? Well, yeah, as they should be. Oh, okay. Targeted towards the Sagittarius to be wary of the Libra in their season and also of Bens that are Libras. Libras. Capricorn. Oh, shit. I forgot to do this one too. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn it. Okay, um, the new, no, 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 the cool new meme this week will be Harry Potter <laughs> peeing like that Calvin and Hobbes bumper sticker, uh, but it's Harry Potter peeing instead of Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes, uh, th that's the meme, it it'll be everywhere on like 4chan and Twitter and Reddit and then much, much later Facebook. It doesn't mean anything. It's just Harry Potter, but he's peeing. And he has an evil little grin like Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, do you get it? Aaron, you magnificent bitch. You done did it again. Oh. I so, can channel on the spot, basically. So the horoscope is just a meme that's going to happen? Yes. And it's Harry Potter I, peeing like Calvin well, from Calvin and Hobbes? Listen, I don't control what they tell me. I just Why, I just though? tell what I'm told. But like, what does it mean? Sometimes things just happen and they don't need meaning or have meaning. They just are. What? Don't do that. We're not on camera. Don't do that. No, I'm just doing, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the evil grin so that you can like visualize it. So that you can like vessel better. Vessel better. Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius, I've been waiting so anxiously for you to return. I have so much in store for you this week. Well, actually, I guess it's not that much, but it's quality over quantity, right? I've been having very, very clear visions for your future, Aquarius, but let's spice it up a little. Instead of me just telling you, how about I give you some hints so you can try to guess your horoscope? Okay, here's your first hint. Think brown. Eh? Anything? What comes to mind? Well, let me stop you for a second and play along. I, Jack, think of, uh, <laughs> mud, uh -huh. sticks, uh -huh. um, excrement sometimes. Uh -huh. What else is brown? Boring clothing. Oh, what uh, makes it boring exactly? Ho hold on. Wood. Oh, okay. Bed beds, like bed, bed frames. Beds are Bed brown. frames. Bed frames are brown. Okay. Uh huh. Cardboard, Amazon packages. Car card oh. And that's it. Brown papered packages tied up with string. And that's and that's those are all the brown things I can think of. Okay, that's all wrong. Don't listen to him. Okay, here's your next hint. Think sticky. What is brown and sticky? Ew! Get your mind out of the gutter. It's a stick. I've been thinking of a stick. I can't stop thinking about sticks. I just needed to tell someone. I don't have a horoscope for you. Thanks for listening, though. <laughs> okay, horoscope over. Just so you guys know, that's like Aaron's favorite goat. Like, that's been your favorite joke for like eight years. What's no, brown and like, sticky? For like 18 years. I know, but like, yeah, as long as we've dated, like yeah. in the early videos. It's the best. Yeah. It's the best. What's, What's brown and sticky? A stick. Yeah. It's the best. But also, I can't help it's, with the go the gods also have it's a been. It's good dad joke. Can't stop thinking about fucking sticks i don't know yeah okay. you, gotta, you gotta fix that fix that, Pisces. Fix that. Yeah. this week you'll find yourself in jack stop sorry <laughs> he's making his pecs bounce and dance and it's super <laughs> distracting <laughs> let me finish this horoscope <laughs> you stud oh baby man <clears throat> This week, <laughs> you'll find yourself. <laughs> oh my God, stop! What? what? Sorry, listeners. Jack is smashing bricks against his abs to show me how hard and pointy they are. Stop it, you! I really have to get through this horoscope. Okay, sorry, babe, sorry. You're so bad! I know. Okay, here we go. This week, you'll find yourself in Jack. No, 
that's my weakness. What is, honey? Sorry again, everyone, but now he's counting all the veins in his biceps. And there are so many. So this will take a while. <laughs> Jack, you are the worst. <laughs> oh, well, at least I know what my horoscope is. <laughs> hubba, hubba, awooga, boing. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, I don't that's think, fun. I don't think you can move your pecs. Don't even. I only wrote. Don't even. I only wrote that just so I could hear you once in my life say flirtily, Jack, you are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you abuse your powers like that? <laughs> the best. How dare you? Uh, uh. Aries. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Another special guest? OMG, we don't deserve this. Everyone, welcome Barbara Walters oh my gosh, to the show. Barbara! <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you for the welcome. <laughs> I'm not sure what you do on the show, but I'm sure <laughs> this is way more fun than 2020 ever was. Good evening. I am Barbara Walters, and I am a Libra. <laughs> you want me to read this here horoscope, you say? Well, I am bringing my glasses with me, and I'm literally <laughs> 92 years old, so I can't see shit. Okay. You dearies have fun. I'm off to bully some interns. <laughs> what is that speech wow. impediment? <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> and there she goes. I'm Barbara Walters. Huh. Okay. Uh, so Aries, she actually took the paper that had your horoscope on it with her because she used it to spit out her chewed gum. So uh, we actually don't have one for you either this week. Hmm. Real sorry about that. Hmm. You look great in that outfit. <laughs> Keep it up, champ. Go get him, tiger. You're <laughs> killing it out there. It's 10 out of 10 would recommend. Whatever the opposite of too much water is. Yeah. With a too much water joke? <laughs> Listeners, I literally just taught her like- uh, They were there. They heard it. We did it on the podcast. Oh. You were the one who explained the like, oh, Pokemon, too much I water. I mansplained the too much water joke? Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Taurus. Goku would obliterate Superman in a fight. Oh yeah? It wouldn't even be close. Huh? Super Saiyan 3 Goku is already strong enough to shake the earth. And that's just with his power aura. <laughs> but Ultra Instinct Goku would quite simply annihilate Superman. No contest. And that's even before Kaioken times 10. Ooh, nice. Plus, the comics are wildly inconsistent when it comes to Superman's strength, as they frequently rewrite his limits to fit the plot. But from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super, and no, we're not counting Dragon Ball GT, ha? Huh? <laughs> Super Saiyan Goku could give Superman a run for his money, and certainly Super Saiyan 2. God, all this Goku talk is making mommy horny. <laughs> Time to rewatch the Cell Saga. Whoa, babe. You know I don't like that H word. Babe. Next time you vessel from the gods, could you just ask them to not use the H word? I don't like the H word. The H word is my moist, okay? Okay, I'll make sure the, the gods H change word, it to Randy. The H word and the D word, the droplets, the droplets and the horny. Those are my moist. I don't like those words. Those words, they give me the... the, the Heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies. They give me the <laughs> That's kind of cool. I had no idea that you were a fan of Kaioken times 10 oh, Ultra Instinct fan. Goku. Big, big fan. Big, That's cool. big, 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 big fan. You really think Goku could beat him in a fight? <laughs> uh, Dragon Ball Super. Hello. It's a, it's a good horoscope. Good horoscope. Gemini. Guys, guys, I don't know what to say. I guess I want to give a big shout out to Wood Elf. They've really outdone themselves. And this is for sure going to make up for the guffaw with Barbara. Because you won't believe what celebrity guest we have up next. This Libra season is bumping with Libra guests. I guess they're really trying to prove that not all Libras are shitheads, but whatever. I'm just excited. We have so many iconic people coming to spend time with us and spread the word of the gods. Please join me in welcoming the Jeff Goldblum to the podcast. 
uh, 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 yes, hi, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Jeff Goldblum. Uh, I'm uh, being paid by the word, and I've uh, already said uh, more than I was uh, paid for, so uh, I'll uh, uh, see ya. Oh, wow. That was disappointing. Uh, see ya, Jeff. Um, I'm regretting now, like, giving out our address. Like, he now knows where we live. Between unprepared bullying Barbara and rude Jeff Goldblum, I guess Libras really are shitheads. <laughs> Sorry I had to find out this way, Gemini. So, Jeff actually took the paper that had your horoscope on it too because he used it to wipe his ass as Libras be doing. So we don't have a horoscope for you this week either. Gemini, you look good, but not as good as Aries. <laughs> Keep working at it though. You'll get there someday, maybe. Well, I do appreciate the, uh, you know, the wood elf. The Wood Elf budget coming in like strong with all these celebs. I'm not sure it was worth it though, if I'm being honest. Like from their standpoint, like was the juice worth the squeeze? I don't know. Our listeners certainly know who Barbara Walters is. <laughs> <laughs> Quick Google. Quick Google. <laughs> cancer. Feeling blue cancer. Understandable. Marjorie's in renegade or whatever. Mm. The best way to turn that frown upside down is by grabbing tickets to Yai Live Live! Woo! That's right, Jack Film is touring the country and taking his dumb little YouTube show on the road across 19 states and 25 cities. Get your tickets now at jacksfilmslive.com. But hurry, because the tour starts next month, November 8th to be exact. I'm counting down the days because I'm going to be alone. Anyway, and some venues are selling out, much like this horoscope, oh. which it is. I love my Jack Film so much that I'm going to the New York, DC, and Philly shows. If you're looking for me, I'll be the one wearing the Super Saiyan <laughs> Goku costume. <laughs> Jacksfilmslive.com. <laughs> oh, that'll be easy to spot, babe. All right, guys, look for the Goku. To be fair, those are only the shows that I know I'm going to go to in 2021. Right. I was going to go to the Boston show, right. but then our dogs all got the dog flu and can't be vaccinated because of it. And thus we cannot board them. And it's a whole, it's a whole thing. thing. Jinx. And so, but we haven't even looked at 2022 yet. You, I think it's not I, a stretch to say that you'll be at the LA show, seeing as how oh, it's in LA. That's a given. But like, I would love to go to Texas with you. I would love we to. Have so we have four even, shows in Texas, we by the way. We haven't even like four looked cities. at that yet. So I actually may very well be at many of the other 2022 shows, but just in 2021, because our dogs caught canine COVID. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I will only be at three shows. At least. At least. As of right now. Well, I guess four because New York is two shows. So that's true. Yeah, that's right. that's right. That's right. That's right. Leo. I know you've had a question burning a hole through your heart, Leo. Mm. I can see through your soul that you're in distress. Mm. Well, let me put you at ease and answer your question. Yes, the woman that Libra cheated with was a Leo. Fuck. How do I know that? How? How dare you question my authority? Why wouldn't I know that? Yeah, I know her birthday. What's it to you? <laughs> yeah, big deal. I also know where her family vacations and her stepmom's first name and her two sisters' names and what her dad does for a living. And yeah, I even know the dog's name. So what? That dog probably isn't alive anymore. I don't understand why that's such a big deal. Why are you so dramatic, Leo? God. Now it makes so much sense that the homewrecker was a Leo because you're all so dramatic and weird. Ugh. Now you've really just put a sour taste in my mouth. I'm not even going to give you a horoscope this week because you and your kind don't deserve it. Ugh. Oh, it's a shame. Well, I just came too. What I missed? Or it's not. You know. Did I black out and give like a really mean horoscope again? People get what they deserve. That's all. Jesus. All right, Joker. Fuck. Fuck. Virgo. For my last horoscope... I've brought in a special guest to help me read it. Oh, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Bond himself, <gasps> Daniel Craig. Oi, oi, it's me, Daniel Craig, you twats. Go see my new movie, Die Now Forever or something. Who bloody cares? It's bloody James Bond movie, in it. You're gonna see it, you knob. 
<laughs> all the movies great. Me cars get all these mad gadgets. I get to shag some real fish birds. <laughs> 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 And I'd do it all for bloody England. Long live the Queen. Tea and crumpets. I'm gonna misplay 007. Best gig in the world, that. So. (laughs) 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 So send me off, Papa, and go see Die Another tomorrow or something christ i can never remember the names of these bloody films and they all sound the fucking same least i get to shag some right fit birds in this one and you see everything <laughs> oh yeah frankly i'm shocked the film isn't rated s for shagged her brain's out <laughs> okay toodles <laughs> whoa daniel craig <laughs> Do you know he's married to Rachel Weisz? <laughs> no, I sure didn't. She was in The Lobster, which is a <gasps> love that movie, movie that I would say is a very binary movie in that you either love it or you hate it. And I am of the love it category. I enjoyed it. It's very weird. It's so weird. But, but in a funny way. I really loved it. Yeah. Interesting premise, too. Yeah, I agree. Well, that about wraps up our... <laughs> Super sweet 16 podcast. Should we be like concerned that we gave all these celebrities our addresses or are we good? Yes, we okay. should be very concerned. <laughs> well, okay. But you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. Thank God for that Simply Safe camera. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all so much. By the way, oh, guys, guys, if you're still listening, Vesseling takes a lot out of us. Yes. We talked about it last episode. We are basically Voldemort's at this point. <laughs> It is, but like movie eight Voldemort, yeah, you know the husks, the the Horcruxes, yeah. just like keep on like coming. Dream sequence, Harry Voldemort. If you guys would like to submit horoscopes, please call into our hotline at Dad Hug Me Ten. At Dad Hug Me Ten, please leave your name, consent, and a horoscope for your own sign. And if the gods approve. They may play it. They just might. So please, would love to hear from you and would love to see if you guys can vessel on your own. Help us vessel. I know if I can do it, I think you guys can probably do it too. Aaron can do it. Anyone can. Jack and I are planning on still reading them blind, but fortunately with the voicemail, it provides a transcript. So I would pick the ones that are for my signs that are assigned to me. Jack would pick those that are assigned to him. I wouldn't read those that are to him. And we would collectively blind play the horoscopes and see what we've picked out for one another. And just a helpful hint, keep them somewhat brief. Maybe not ramble or vessel for for, for too long. What you're trying to say is that there is a three minute. That is what I'm trying to say. There's a three minute limit on the voicemail. So anyway, thank you so much for calling in. Oh, your your boy, John Old. Thank you for calling in. It was great hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for all of your quiz ideas. Please stay tuned. There are more to come. We have many more quizzes to come. And I can't wait to see you next week. I already know what I'm doing next week to... uh, get Aaron back for kids bopifying me so bad. Till next time, haters. Bye!